Hi, Cassandra. How you doing? I, you know, I was reading your response to my when I asked you if if you wouldn't mind if I would if I could wait, um, and you responded saying that you didn't really get much of a critique last week, and I was like, wait a second, I give everybody critique, but I went back and I looked, and I, you're, you're right. I'm so sorry. I think it was because you know it was posted kind of late, and and I know I jumped in. Um, in grading and put some comments in there, but you're right. I did not give you a complete critique here. I really apologize for that. Okay. I, I'm so sorry if I, if I sent you back a little bit, I, I, I should have been much more specific for that reason. I'm going to go back into last week and, and I'm going to give you a, a, a thorough critique. I think that your ideas here are good. I really do. I think that one of the mistakes I think you're making between the transition between your writing. Okay, so this writing presumably is a culmination of all the research you've done so far, right? So what we need to do is take a look at how do we transition from this writing, which is a culmination of your research, to a visual representation um, of that research, okay? And my suggestion is this, is that don't try to design a logo based on an object or a location. In other words, Winter Olympics. What's the two things that you would think of objects and locations? Okay. Nine out of 10 student designers are going to design a logo with either snowflakes or mountains. Winter Olympics, right? I think that we, and that's natural thought process. Absolutely. But we're designers. So we need to think deeper and more significantly than that. So for that reason, my recommendation is to visualize, show your visual representation, not based on objects or or locations, okay, snowflakes or mountains, but on ideas. So if you can create a symbol to represent an idea, for example, this is Olympics, it's worldwide, it's unity, it's worldwide together, it's a unification of cultures for two weeks out of the year. And if we can somehow visually depict that worldwide unity through sports and add some sort of meaning to that logo based on the location, then we're golden, all right? So these, basically, I don't think these are going to work, and I'm going to tell you why, because here we have the location. Remember I said try to promote ideas and not locations or objects. Here you have a location, here you have the flower, the object. Same thing here and the same thing here. Now, this could be something that you could use. However, it's it's not developed as such, and it's really difficult to try to base a logo on a part of a plant. Do you see what I'm saying? It's just going to be so difficult to recognize. Then we come over here, and listen, I this basket basket example right here, I'm interested in this. I think this is very, very interesting as far as some of your sketches go. Now, nonetheless, last week in your sketches, I really didn't have a whole lot of visual description as to what your thought process is behind each of the, the individual marks themselves. So I don't really have much much background on this this piece right here, the, the basket example. And I'm really enjoying the basket example. So I'm wondering about that. Okay. Now, oh, oh we have over here, then you, you did give one pictogram. And then you have these other sketches and ideas. And that's great. And that's how it's supposed to work, right? So good job there. Um, now moving into digital, let's jump over to digital and see what you have this week. Okay. And I think that a couple of things going on here um, in the digital stage. Well, first, I think you're missing some some parts, pieces, parts, because uh, what's due for this week is if you take a look at that, that overview is um, you have the three final logos. And then you have um, a report about each logo. So not nothing major, you know, half a page. Uh, just telling me what the, the visual, you know, what is the rationale behind the logo? Okay. Describing the typography, the placement, the, the logo, and, you know, the, the treatment of the Olympic rings, et cetera. Excuse me, et cetera, et cetera. So we need the logo, the sketches, the finished sketches. Well, let me jump over there. I can show you. Uh, 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 let's see. Oh, here we are. Okay. Um, so this week you will have solidified your visual interpretation down to a minimum of three options and then developed a story for each of those options. So you give us the logo, the story behind the logo, the sketches for the logo, and then each logo has to have a set of pictograms associated with it. Okay. And that's what we're missing here. We don't have any pictograms. So as far as your logos here, I, I don't think this is going to work because it's just too, it's not recognizable. 
as that part of that plan. Also, I understand the reasoning behind the water droplets behind the Olympic rings, but you're going to probably, that's something that's probably not going to be permitted by the uh, International Olympic Committee because that's their brand. And, you know, they, that's their, their, their logo, their branding. It's been around forever and it's quite unlikely that they're going to allow that to be compromised for um, a specific design purpose. Okay. Um, uh, go on. Okay, so and then so um, these I think that this right here is got your potential right this mark right here now a couple of comments here what I would do is I would say that we need some rationale behind that okay I, I recognize those plant shapes but let's just get some further definition there describe to me why this is in this this um, kind of uh, arrangement here and then describe why the type is used there and describe why you have decided not to use Olympic rings in this. And then do the same for your other two final logo choices. Okay. Um, I think this is your strongest bet. Now, one thing I would recommend here is that you don't want to use an image in the background here. And the reason being is because when you do tr decide to resize this, as we know, you can't resize an image because without messing with the resolution. So when you have this image in the background, if you just go resizing the logo, let's say to put it on the side of a bus, this image in here is going to get all pixelated. And so I would recommend something other than an image in the um, inside of those those shapes. Okay. Um, all right. That's about what I have, uh, Cassandra. I hope that's complete. Again, I'm so sorry about last week. I, I wish you would have feel free to contact me Cassandra I'm really really approachable um so if you you know shoot me an email and say hey I didn't get much of a critique last week I would have been on that in just one half of a second but um so I, I apologize I did not mean to make you feel isolated and I, and I apologize for that so hopefully you got what you need out of here moving forward and if you didn't if you need more information please let me know I'll be glad to um clarify anything that might might need so all right thanks so much Cassandra great job and um okay good job